The thought of setting up and managing a new computer system can conjure up some scary visions. Wiring it up, months of learning new terms and procedures, and worrying about having to become highly technical to work with a computer. Well, you will soon be receiving your new HP 3000 computer system. And rather than a worry, it represents a tool that was designed to make your job easier. A tool to help you simply and easily run your office. And to help you take full advantage of your new system, this videotape will introduce you to the key components of your HP 3000, preparing your office for the system, some basic setup considerations, and HP support assistance. Learning about your new HP 3000 will elevate you to new levels of capabilities. Let's start by getting familiar with the basic pieces of your new system. The most important piece of the system is the main computer box, commonly referred to as the CPU. This is the box that holds the brains and the memory of the system, as well as the internal disk drive and the tape drive. The next piece is the console. It has two main parts, the monitor and the keyboard. The console is used to perform special tasks requested by the person who manages the system's daily use. It's the only terminal that connects directly to the computer. Once the console is connected to your computer and it's started, the computer is ready to receive commands and display information. The next piece is called the DTC, which stands for Data Communications and Terminal Controller. It lets you connect terminals, personal computers, and other devices like printers to your HP 3000. Peripherals are the last parts of the system. They are pieces of equipment like printers, external disk drives, or terminals. Terminals are devices which allow you to enter or receive information from the computer. You can add peripherals as needed. Your system may look like this, with the addition of a cabinet of external drives for storing even more data. Or like this. If you have this setup, preparing your system for use will be completed for you. Your sales contact will make sure it happens. The office can be a very dangerous place for a computer system. But with a little planning, you can provide a safe and practical home for your new computer. You'll need a separate electrical outlet for each piece of equipment in the system. Be absolutely sure that your HP 3000 isn't plugged into an outlet that's controlled by a switch, because if someone flips the switch at the wrong time, your computer could lose power or data. You don't want your system connected to the same circuit as machines or appliances that cause heavy power drains. And don't use extension cords. They can be fire hazards as well. You'll need to check to see that the power in your building meets the HP 3000 specifications. When the system arrives, the setting up and maintaining your system guide will give you a precise list of power specifications. Or, if you want this information ahead of time, refer to the View Me Now card that came with this video. If you're not sure about your power needs, talk with the building maintenance department, hire an electrical contractor, or contract with Hewlett Packard to verify that your power meets the requirements. Once the power is checked out, the next step is to decide where to place the HP 3000. For proper cooling, you need at least 12 inches of ventilation space in front of and behind the computer. So it needs to be placed away from the wall. Components can be placed as far away from the computer as the cable lets you go. It's helpful to have a storage place nearby for computer supplies, like tapes and paper. A dedicated phone line is important for data communication. And for safety, Cables should be kept out of aisles so they won't trip people walking by.
There are several things to avoid when setting up the HP 3000. The computer shouldn't be under a desk or table. This restricts the airflow for cooling. You also don't want it next to an open window. Although this is good for ventilation, it's bad for dust and moisture. And obviously, you don't want other objects on top of the HP 3000, as they represent definite dangers to the system. In general, you don't want too much heat, cold, vibration, dust, or moisture. The HP 3000 is a complex piece of electronic equipment, and it should be treated carefully. Even unpacking your new system has been made an easy process. As your system arrives, be sure to check that all of the boxes have arrived undamaged. If you see damage to the shipping boxes, do not unpack the boxes. This is important. Call your shipper, then call your sales contact to notify them that you've received damaged boxes. After you've checked your order and determined that all the parts have arrived, then it's time to start opening them up. Start by opening the box which contains the computer. Look for the Open First label on the outside. HP has designed a special box that even makes unpacking an easy job. The HP 3000 is too heavy to lift by yourself, so to remove it from the box, you carefully tip the box over onto its side. Then, slowly slide the computer out of the box. When you open the box, you'll see the Start Here card right on top. Be sure to read it first. You'll also find some of your system's documentation on top, including the Setting Up and Maintaining Your System Installation Guide. This guide will lead you through the setup process step by step. Once the computer has been removed from its shipping box, take a minute to learn about the computer's parts. Just like a chef follows directions for a recipe step by step, assembling the HP 3000 and learning how to operate it is very much like a cookbook operation. HP has designed the HP 3000 to make sure that connecting the hardware is a simple plug-in process. To simplify assembly, it's a good idea to identify which cables go with which parts of the system. Each cable has a specific function and attaches to a specific connector, so be sure to keep the cables together with their corresponding parts of the system. Each cable also has a specific part number. The setting up and maintaining your system guide also lists the part numbers for the cables which connect each piece of equipment. Once all the cables have been identified, you're ready to begin connecting the pieces of the system you'll first connect the console and the main computer together. Once connected, you can turn the system on and run a self-test. The self-test tells you if all is well with the computer, its internal disk, the tape drive, and the console. Now, you're ready to connect the rest of the system. Working with a computer means telling it what you want it to do. Sometimes you will do this directly by typing commands in yourself. Or you can use HP EasyTime for many of your tasks. It's a tool that lets you skip using many of the direct computer commands. HP EasyTime is a very convenient way to communicate with a computer. Every team needs a coach. MPEXL is like the HP 3000's coach. Known as the operating system, it is the set of commands built into the computer that tell it what to do. The most basic MPE command that you will use lets you log on to the system. Logging on is simply identifying yourself to the computer. To log on, you turn on your terminal and press the return button one or several times until you see the MPEXL logon prompt. Next, you type in hello, then your user identification, and press return. The system will ask you for the proper password if one is needed. You type that in, 
then press return again. At this point, you will see the system prompt, which is a colon. Now you're ready to start getting your work done. And this may mean using HP Easy Time to perform many of your everyday computer management tasks. HP Easy Time has easy to understand menus, and it works the same way for all of your tasks. This means you don't have to learn a new set of commands for every new task you want to perform. Not making an extra safety copy of your files is, well, like driving without a spare tire. You can do it, but you might get into trouble. So HP has made completing a file backup easy to do. All you need to do is load the data cassette tape and use the HP EasyTime screens to start the backup process. The tape drive on your HP 3000 allows you to quickly and conveniently store large amounts of information onto the data cassette. It would be a good idea to check your order form to make sure you ordered a dozen or so data cassette tapes. You should always have a good supply. You'll need one to prepare your system for use. The drive itself is easy to understand. You can look at it like a videotape player. You load the cassette into the front slot to insert the tape and push the unload button to eject the tape. However, the tapes are delicate and should be handled the way you would any video or audio cassette. Keep them out of the heat, cold, dust, and moisture. Backups should be done on a regular schedule. They can even be timed to be done automatically at night when no one is using the system. A backup of the information guarantees that the information you need will be there when you need it. And remember, backup management is just one of the easy time functions you'll want to take advantage of. Sharing a system offers many benefits, but also has its responsibilities. Unlike working on a standalone PC, the computer and console are more than your own personal work area. All of the system users share the computer. Remember, before stopping the computer, give everyone a chance to get off the system first. Otherwise, system users could accidentally lose their data. As a user, Many of the functions you are used to controlling on a PC are now controlled by the person who manages your HP 3000. For instance, a system user doesn't handle their own file backups to tape. This is handled by the system's manager. Understanding how to work in a multi-user environment isn't difficult. There are just a few considerations to keep in mind. Even the most reliable equipment needs to be well taken care of. And though HP is known for the reliability of its products, your equipment should still be maintained with care. Most important is to keep the environment around the computer free of dirt, vibration, heat, and moisture. Liquids are very dangerous for the system and should always be kept away. Also, be sure to clean the tape drive on a regular basis you'll discover that maintaining the HP 3000 hardware is simple. What if you decide that you'd like someone else to set up your HP 3000? You'd like to have ongoing software or hardware support services or you'd like to learn more about your new HP 3000. An HP customer engineer is available to perform the entire setup and startup process for you. If you choose to order the on-site HP installation or site planning services, just refer to the printed information provided with this video. HP's software support services provide you easy telephone access to trained specialists who are ready to quickly resolve your software problems. It's an effective way to increase productivity. HP's hardware support services protect your investment by providing hardware maintenance of your system at your site, delivered by experienced HP support professionals.
Learning more about how your system works and what your system can do for you will also enhance your productivity and work quality. To learn more about how to use and manage your new HP 3000, many books and courses are available. You'll discover a variety of educational materials designed to meet your specific needs. For more information, call the phone number shown on the View Me Now card provided with this video. HP's experience, expertise, and integrated resources all work together through a range of hardware and software support services to help you increase your productivity and protect your investment. Whatever your business goals, we'll apply our systems knowledge to structure a service and support program that best meets your specific needs. Now, before your system arrives, your next steps are to check to see that you've ordered data cassette tapes, determine the location and correct environment for your computer, and decide if you want to purchase installation or other support services. Getting to know your system, the beginning of many years of success with your new HP 3000.